The map of our world is about to change. And I'm not talking about China breaching boundaries. I'm talking about the continent of Africa splitting into two. In the heart of Africa, a world-changing event is going unnoticed by most people. The ground is splitting, creating a new chapter in the continent's ancient history. This isn't just a crack in the earth. It's the beginning of a massive split that will eventually tear the continent into two separate land masses. But what's driving this extraordinary phenomenon? And how will it transform Africa and its people? Join us as we embark upon the fascinating journey of a continent on the verge of geological transformation. The concept of continental drift. To grasp the profound changes unfolding in Africa, we must first understand the theory of continental drift. This theory suggests that Earth's continents are not static and that they move across the planet's surface over time. First proposed in 1912 by Alfred Wegener, a meteorologist and geophysicist noticed that the coastlines of continents like South America and Africa seem to fit together like jigsaw puzzle pieces. He theorized that about 300 million years ago, all continents were once joined in a supercontinent called Pangaea, meaning all land in Greek. Wegener was faced with skepticism as he couldn't explain the force that moved continents. However, with the advent of plate tectonics theory in the mid-20th century, Wegener's vision gained acceptance. This theory proposes that the Earth's surface is divided into several large plates, which float on the semi-fluid asthenosphere beneath the crust. These tectonic plates move due to the convective currents in the mantle beneath them. Sitting atop these plates, the continents drift as the plates move. Over millions of years, Pangaea gradually fragmented and drifted apart, shaping the world map as we know it today. Averaging a few centimeters per year, the movement is slow yet relentless. This is roughly the same rate at which human fingernails grow. Africa was once located next to South America and Antarctica as part of the ancient supercontinent of Gondwana, which broke off from Pangaea. Around 140 million years ago, Gondwana also began to split, gradually separating the African plate from other land masses. This separation is ongoing and most clearly observed in the East African Rift System, a reminder of our planet's nature. The Birth of the East African Rift The East African Rift indicates the slow but inevitable division of the African continent. Stretching over 6,000 kilometers from the Red Sea down to Mozambique, this rift marks a significant zone where the African plate is tearing apart. Scientists trace the origins of the East African Rift to tens of millions of years ago, when immense forces within the Earth's mantle began to pull the African plate apart. This process is similar to stretching a fabric until it thins and eventually tears. In the case of the African plate, this stretching has formed two separate tectonic plates, namely the Somalian plate to the east and the Nubian plate to the west. The mechanics of this rift are driven by what geologists call rifting. This process begins deep beneath the Earth's surface, where hot material from the mantle rises towards the crust, causing it to thin and break apart. This activity has led to numerous valleys, some filled with large lakes and towering volcanoes along the rift's path. Dramatic landscapes mark the rift's course from the Afar Triangle in the north, where the rift meets the Red Sea, down through the Ethiopian highlands, and snaking down into Kenya, Tanzania, and eventually Mozambique. Its discovery has provided crucial insights into how continents evolve and break apart. The East African Rift offers a unique window into the Earth's geology. Unlike other rift systems mostly hidden beneath ocean waters, this rift is accessible for direct observation and study, making it a treasure trove for geologists. Current State of the Rift The East African Rift is reshaping the African continent in real time. 
Currently, the rift is expanding a few millimeters to about two centimeters per year, a seemingly slow yet profoundly impactful pace in geological terms. This expansion is not uniform across the rift, with some areas showing more rapid movement than others. This geographical curiosity holds significant implications for the continent's future. The immediate effects are already visible in the form of altered landscapes. For instance, in parts of Kenya and Ethiopia, vast rift valleys have become prominent features, hosting a series of large freshwater lakes. These transformations are reshaping the physical geography and influencing local ecosystems and biodiversity. In the long term, the continuation of this rifting process could lead to more dramatic changes. If the rift continues to expand at the current rate, it is conceivable that in millions of years, the African continent might split into two distinct landmasses. The smaller of these, comprising parts of Ethiopia, Somalia, and perhaps sections of Kenya and Tanzania, would gradually drift away from the mainland. This would result in the birth of a new ocean as seawater fills the space between the two landmasses and redefine the lives of millions. Geological processes unveiled. At the heart of the East African Rift's formation lies a remarkable geological process involving the movement of mantle plumes and tectonic plates. Mantle plumes are powerful upwellings of hot rock that rise from deep within the Earth's mantle, reaching the crust. As these plumes ascend, they exert immense pressure on the Earth's crust, causing it to bulge, thin, and eventually fracture. This process, combined with the movement of tectonic plates, gives birth to rift valleys, the hallmark of the East African rift. Rift valleys are significant depressions formed by the splitting of the Earth's crust. They are the surface manifestations of the complex movements happening deep below. In the case of the East African Rift, the divergence of the Nubian and Somalian plates is causing the crust to stretch and split. This splitting process forms long, narrow valleys bordered by steep cliffs, which is the very essence of a rift valley. The significance of these valleys extends beyond their geological importance. They are also hotspots for biodiversity, harboring unique ecosystems and species that have adapted to these distinct environments. Moreover, the rift's formation has profound implications for the human populations living along its course. The fertile soils found in some rift valleys support agriculture, while the presence of minerals and geothermal energy presents economic opportunities. Environmental and Ecological Impacts The environmental and ecological impacts of the East African Rift are profound, reshaping the region's landscapes and ecosystems. The Rift's volcanic activity significantly influences soil composition and the geochemistry of ground and surface waters. These changes reflect in the water and food quality affecting human and animal health. Volcanic materials, such as dust and clay, enriched soil fractions are of particular concern due to their potentially harmful elements, including fluoride, arsenic, and mercury. These elements dissolve directly into groundwater, leading to health issues in local populations. The intense weathering in the region redistributes various elements, creating zones with micronutrient deficiencies and excesses of potentially harmful elements. Furthermore, the rift presents numerous geohazards, such as landslides, earthquakes, lava flows, and gas emissions. These natural hazards pose significant risks to communities in this active geological region. The benefits of residing in such an environment, like access to geothermal energy and fertile soils, are juxtaposed against these risks. Understanding these hazards, their potential impacts, and the vulnerabilities of populations and assets is crucial for enabling communities to live and work safely in these dynamic environments. The British Geological Survey emphasizes enhancing resilience to natural hazards through knowledge exchange, training and capacity building, 
particularly in partnership with local institutions and communities. The East African Rift's ongoing geological transformation is an urgent environmental and societal concern. The changes it brings have far-reaching implications for the region's ecology, human health, and socio-economic development. Socio-economic and political ramifications. The socio-economic and political ramifications of the East African Rift could potentially reshape national borders and economic zones. As the rift continues to expand, it could lead to the redrawing of geographical boundaries. This phenomenon is altering the very maps that define countries. The rift's progression might create new international borders, challenging existing political and social structures. For instance, if the rift leads to the separation of a portion of the continent, countries like Tanzania and Kenya might find themselves with newly formed coastlines, changing their geopolitical and economic standing significantly. Landlocked countries near the rift could see potential benefits from these changes. For example, Ethiopia and Uganda might gain access to new coastlines, opening up direct avenues for maritime trade and improving their access to global markets. This could significantly boost their economies, offering new opportunities for trade, tourism and investment. But these changes also come with challenges, particularly for regions currently on the coast. As new coastlines emerge, existing coastal areas might experience shifts in maritime boundaries, affecting their exclusive economic zones. This could lead to disputes over fishing rights, mineral exploration rights, and marine resources. Coastal erosion and changes in sea levels could further complicate these issues. The socio-economic impact extends to infrastructure development as well. New transportation routes, ports, and cities may need to be developed to adapt to the changing geography. This could require significant investments and strategic planning from the governments involved. Cultural and historical significance. This vast rift has witnessed the dawn of humanity, offering archeological treasures that provide critical insights into our past. The Rift Valley, often called the Cradle of Humanity, is home to some of the most important hominid fossils ever discovered. These include the famous Lucy in Ethiopia and the Turkana Boy in Kenya, which have been pivotal in shaping our understanding of human evolution. These discoveries suggest that early human ancestors may have thrived in the Rift Valley's unique environment, which offered diverse habitats and resources. Beyond its significance in human evolution, the rift has deeply influenced the cultures and traditions of the people living along its course. The rich soils and abundant resources provided by the rift have supported communities for thousands of years. These communities have developed unique cultures, languages and traditions, many of which are closely tied to the land and its features. The rift has also been the setting for numerous historical events and stories that are integral to the identities of these communities. From the Maasai in Kenya and Tanzania to the Oromo in Ethiopia, the Rift Valley has been a backdrop to their histories, myths and rituals. The changes brought about by the rift might challenge these communities to adapt, potentially reshaping their cultural landscapes. Scientific and Global Perspective From a scientific and global perspective, the East African Rift is a subject of intense interest and study. The scientific community views the Rift as a living laboratory, offering a rare opportunity to observe the processes of continental rifting firsthand. Such an opportunity is invaluable, as most rifting events are hidden beneath the ocean's waters, inaccessible for direct study. Geologically, the rift provides insights into the dynamics of tectonic plates, the forces driving continental drift, and the formation of new ocean basins. It helps scientists understand the past, present, and future of Earth's geology. The rift study explains how continents and ocean basins have formed and evolved over billions of years. This is essential for understanding the Earth's history and predicting its geological future. 
The East African Rift is crucial in understanding natural hazards, particularly in rift zones. The knowledge gained from studying this rift helps predict and mitigate the impacts of seismic activity, volcanic eruptions, and related hazards in other parts of the world. Human Response and Adaptation In response to the profound geological changes brought about by the East African Rift, communities and nations in the region are adapting in various ways. Understanding the necessity to live with and adapt to these changes, they are developing strategies to manage the environmental, economic, and social challenges caused by the rift. A key focus has been on disaster preparedness and response. Governments and local authorities are investing in early warning systems for seismic activity and volcanic eruptions, common in rift areas. These systems are crucial for minimizing the impact of natural disasters on communities. Additionally, there is an emphasis on educating the public about these risks and how to respond effectively, which is vital for enhancing community resilience. Economic adaptation strategies are also being implemented. The Rift's unique geology presents opportunities for geothermal energy development, which several East African countries are exploring. Geothermal energy offers a sustainable and reliable power source, which could significantly boost the region's energy supply and economy. This is particularly important for countries in the Rift region, where access to energy can be limited. Socially, there is an increased focus on preserving and adapting cultural practices and traditions that may be affected by the changing landscape. Communities are finding innovative ways to maintain their cultural heritage while embracing the new opportunities and challenges presented by the Rift. The response to the East African Rift involves a combination of disaster preparedness, economic development and cultural adaptation. These initiatives reflect the resilience of the affected communities and nations as they navigate the challenges and opportunities presented by this monumental geological event. As the East African Rift reshapes a continent, it leaves us with vital questions. How will we, as a global community, adapt and respond to these significant shifts in our natural world? The way forward calls for resilience, innovation, and a deepened understanding of our planet's ever-evolving story.